Hello everyone. Today shall discuss about square roots. Study the following situations. Area of a square is 144 centimeter square. What could be the side of the square? We know that the area of a square is side square. If we assume the length of the side to be a, then 144 is equal to a square. To find the length of side, it is necessary to find a number whose square is 144. What is the length of a diagonal of a square of side 8 cm? We can use Pythagorean Pythagoras theorem to solve this. We have ab square plus bc square equal ac square or ad square plus ad square equal ac square. 64 plus 64 equal ac square. That is 128 equal ac square. Again, to get ac, you need to think of a number whose square is 128. In a right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse and its side are respectively 5 cm and 3 cm. Here you see. Can you find the third side? If x cm be the length of the third side, using Pythagoras theorem, 5 square is equal to x square plus 3 square, or 25 minus 9 is equal to x square, or 16 is equal to x square. Again, to find x, we need a number whose square is 16. In all the above cases, we need to find a number whose square is known. Finding the number with the known square is known as finding the square root. Finding square roots. The inverse opposite operation of addition is subtraction and the inverse operation of multiplication is division. Similarly, finding square root is the inverse operation of squaring. That is 1 square equal to 1. Therefore, square root of 1 is 1. 2 square is equal to 2. 4. Therefore, the square the root of 4 is 2. 3 square is equal to 9. Therefore, square root of 9 is 3. In this way, you can find. Here you see 1 is minus 1 square is equal to 1. Is minus 1 a square root of 1. Minus 2 square is 4. Is minus 2 is a square root of 4. Minus 9 square is equal to 81. Is minus 9 square root of 81. From the above, you may say that there are two integral square roots of a perfect number, square number. In this chapter, we shall take up only positive square root of a natural number. Positive square root of a number is denoted by the symbol this one. Root 4 is equal to 2, not minus 2. Root 9 is equal to 3, not minus 3. Here you see 1 square equal to 1, therefore square root of 1 is equal to 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is equal to 3, square root of 16 is equal to 4, square root of 25 is equal to 5, 6 is equal to 36, square root of 36 is equal to 6, square root of 49 is equal to 7, square root of 64 is 8, square root of 81 is equal to 9, square root of 100 is equal to 10. Finding square root through repeated subtraction. Do you remember the sum of the first n odd natural number is n square? That is, every square number can be expressed as a sum of successive odd natural numbers starting from 1. Consider root 81, then 81 minus 1, 80, 83, 80 minus 3, 77, 77 minus 5, 72, 72 minus 7 is 65, 65 minus 9 is 56, 56 minus 11 is 45, 45 minus 13, 32, 32 minus 15, 17, 17 minus 17 is 0. From 81, we have subtract, subtracted successive odd numbers starting from 1 and obtained 0 to 9th step. Therefore, root 81 is 9. Can you find the square root of 729 using this method? Yes, but it will, it will be time consuming. Let us try to find it in a simple way. Find the square root through prime factorization like this. Consider the prime factorization of the following numbers and their squares. 6 equal to 2 into 3, 8 equal to 2 into 2 into 2, 12, 2 into 2 into 3, 3 into 5. Prime factorization of its square. 36, 2 into 2 into 3 into 3, 64, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 144, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3, 225, 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. How many times 2 does 2 occur in the prime factorization of 6? Once. How many times does 2 occur in the prime factor of 36? Twice. Similarly, observe the occurrence of 3 in 6 and 36 of 2 in 8 and 64, etc. Here, 324 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. By pairing prime factorization factors, we get 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 3 into 3, that is 2 square, 3 square, 3 square, or 2 into 2, 2 into 3 into 3, whole square, or the square root of 3 to 4 is 2 into 3 into 3, that is 18. Similarly, we can find the square root of 256. Prime factorization of 256 is this one. By using prime factorization factors, we get 
22 into 22 that is 16 is 48 a perfect square 22 into 22 into 3 since all the factors are not in pairs so 48 is not a perfect square suppose we want to find the smallest multiple of 48 that is a perfect square how should we proceed making pairs of the prime factors 48 you see that 3 is the only factor that does not have a pair so we need to multiply 3 to complete the pair what similar hence 48 into 3 41 44 is a perfect square can you tell by which number should we divide 48 to get a perfect square 48 divided by 3 that is 22 into 2 so this number 16 is a perfect square 2 find the square root of 6400 here you see we got it as 80 is 90 a perfect square 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 the prime factors 2 and 5 do not occur in pairs therefore 90 is not a perfect square 90 is not a perfect square can also be seen from the fact that it has only one zero example 6 is 2 3 5 2 is a perfect square if not find the smallest multiple of 2 3 5 2 which is a perfect square find the square root of the new number 2 3 5 2 2 into 2 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 7 as the prime factor 3 has no pair 2 3 5 2 is not a perfect square if 3 gets a pair then the number will become perfect square so we multiply 2 3 5 2 by 3 to get this one right now each prime factor is in pair therefore 2 3 5 2 into 3 is 7 0 5 6 is a perfect square thus the required smallest multiple of 2 3 5 2 is 7 0 5 6 which is a perfect square again root over 5 0 7 0 5 6 equal to 84 next question is find the smallest number by which 9408 must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect square. Find the square root of the quotient. We have 9408 equal to 22 into 22 into 22 into, 22 into 3 into 7 into 7. If we divide 9408 by the factor 3, then we are getting 3136, which is a perfect square. Therefore, the required smallest number is 3. Example 8. Find the smallest square number which is divisible by each of the numbers 6, 9, and 15. This has to be done in two steps. First, first of all, find the smallest common multiple and then find the square number needed. The least number divisible by each of 6, 9, 15 is the LCM. Therefore, LCM of 6, 9, 15 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5, that is 90. Prime factors of 90 is 2 into 3 into 3 into 5. We see that the prime factors 2 and 5 are not in pairs. Therefore, 90 is not a perfect square. In order to get a perfect square, each factor of 90 must be paired. So, we need to make pairs of 2 and 5. Therefore, 90 should be multiplied by 10. Hence, the required number is 90 to 10, that is 900. Dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video.